the podium we have the great uh, Jackson Robinson and the great Spencer Johnson, and I believe Jax is going to begin with the opening statement. Uh, yeah, it was a great win. Um, obviously, a lot of emotion going into the game with it being senior night, me and Spence. Um, but I think we did a really great job of just staying focused on the task at hand and came out with a win. Um, you know, they it was a game of runs. They went on a couple of runs, but, you know, we slowed them down and came out with the win. So. Oh, wait, Spence. Spence got to go. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, Jackson said it pretty good. Um, pretty good. That's great. I thought it was really actually well. way better than pretty <laughs> good. Really I thought well. it was concise. <laughs> yeah. Good point. inflection, vocal uh, he, inflection. He summed it up, he summed it up really <laughs> Eye well. Eye contact was excellent. Uh, how about the crowd tonight, too? I mean, our crowd always shows out, but tonight it felt, I don't know, special. There were 17,978 people recorded. Is that a sellout? Yes, sir. And for the first time ever, uh, we had Joey Johnson in the stands. Like, that's pretty MC special, debut. man. Okay, keep going. You're doing good. Yeah, no, it was great. Um, Small got going. He was, uh, I mean, hitting shots from everywhere. But I feel like we responded well. You know, we, we didn't um, get on our heels. We stayed on our toes. And, and we attacked their press. And we kept shooting. And we were rebounding. And, yeah, it was fun. Spencer, what was the, the halftime message to get things going in the second half? And was there a, another mosh pit to energize <laughs> you guys? Uh, no, there wasn't. We should have. But, man, it was just like uh, this team does such a good job of just talking to each other, just just talking through uh, what we're seeing out there, what we're feeling, um, any tips and tricks. And, and we do a good job talking and then receiving that as well. Uh, so we talked about it. Coach came in and, and talked about uh, how massive our transition defense was and um, re offensive rebounding, or our defensive rebounding, their offensive. So control the boards and um, make sure we're getting back in transition. Uh, you know, I'm going to tell you something about this team that's really special. And actually, these two are two of the leaders in the halftime locker room. Yes, is that true? Mm -hmm. um, so we'll go meet as a staff in the staff locker room and let the players debrief in the players' locker room. And you got, they'll probably be in there for four minutes, give or take, by themselves. Um, and it's pretty much a, a constant stream of talking amongst themselves. Mm -hmm. And they cover all the topics. And really now, um, you guys verify this, but probably the last uh, six, seven games, um, by the time I get in the locker room, all I'm doing is repeating exactly what they've already covered. Mm -hmm. And that's a, it's, I'm, I'm telling you, that is, that's, that's why this group is, is really special. That's why they're accomplishing the things that they're accomplishing is, is because of their unbelievable willingness to um, not get withdrawn in, in themselves and kind of talk and think the game and scheme the game and plan the game together. Mm -hmm. is, if everything I said was true, yeah. they have to say it was true, but I think it really is true. Well said. Hey. Well said. So Oklahoma State's coach mentioned how in the first half he felt like his team was connected really well defensively and, and being able to get to you, your shooters and close out on you guys. But in the second half, that obviously changed dramatically within the first five minutes. Uh, were there specific things you did to, to adjust offensively and defensively to, first of all, open yourself up for the threes that you want to get, but also keep them from scoring the basket for uh, first four minutes. Yeah, it's your turn. Um, I mean, you know, in the second half, I felt like, like, well, like Coach and Spence said, I feel like in the locker room, it all started from there just with the communication. Um, and then going into the second half, um, we knew that some of the things that we normally do, we weren't doing in the first half. So we just made a great adjustment going into the second half. And um, I mean, obviously, it paid off. I think we shot. 66% from the three in the second half, so that's pretty incredible. Um, but yeah. Started four of four. Yeah. I thought that the guys did a really spectacular job. You know, in the first half, uh, we almost were a little too. I'm really proud of the guys, man, because in the, in the first half, we almost had too much energy and intensity. We were almost a little bit ahead of ourselves. Um, and in the second half, the guys, one, penetration was super forceful. Both <laughs> these guys had numerous uh, drives, stampedes, maggettis, off ball screens where they're getting downhill. And then downhill, we're unbelievable getting to two feet, making the right play. 
Um, and when, when we get penetration off the bounce or penetration working in the foos or Ali off the roll, uh, that's when teams are forced to do things. And our guys' aggressiveness and patience, it's a real nice cocktail, but they were, uh, they were pretty peaked in the second half offensively. It was, it was actually really great. Mark, your peers picked you guys 13th in the preseason, and you guys finished fifth. I'm sure you wanted higher, but to me, what this team accomplished in this first Big 12 regular season. Yeah, I... I um, as soon as the game was over and we was locked up fifth, I was just trying to find some Taylor Swift five. She doesn't have any five. There's no five. <laughs> Is there? Where are the Pope girls when I need them? <laughs> so I'm, I'm super disappointed about that, actually. I, I thought that this would be tied together in a neater little bow, but um, we just, not everything can go perfectly. Um, I love it. Like, um, you know, this league for us is all about the chase. Um, you guys feel that way? Mm -hmm. Like, it's all about the chase. I wish they had picked us 14th or 15th. Like, because, um, you know, that just, uh, I think these guys, I think it actually helps our guys focus in towards each other. And, and it it's kind of works as something to, to help um, consolidate our group. And I, I do think we have a bunch of guys that are hungry on the chase right now and have really enjoyed that. Uh, so far through the regular season, and then, um, it, you know, we're not going to change anything for the postseason. We're still uh, on a heavy, heavy chase, and and um, and going to continue to, you know, these guys are so special, man. We're just desperate to play as many more games as we can because we don't want it to end. Jackson, from fifth in the WCC last year to fifth in the Big Twelve this year, what would you say is the biggest change? Um, obviously the competition. Um, I think being in the Big 12 uh, like requires you to play that much harder, um, be that more consistent, be smarter, all about um, like the little things that matter. Um, and then also I just feel like it came with experience of us just playing together for a year, um, getting to know each other, be, be around each other. That Europe trip uh, really helped us in the summer, and I think it paid huge dividends um, and showing on the court, obviously. Moving the ball and find an open man, it's something that we always practice, and it's paying off. I, I thought Jax was going to say that coach let me shoot it more. <laughs> that that, that would have been the go to. Jax, what were the emotions uh, you were feeling going into the night? And I know you still got another year, but you got a decision coming up. Just how you approach this game, maybe in your final uh, BYU home game? Um, I was approached it like any other regular game. Um, there's nothing I could do about it. There's a lot, obviously a lot of emotion going into it, but just making sure that I stay even and know that we still have to go out and produce. Um, so just making sure that not only me, but my team is locked in so we can go get uh, a win. And Spence, for you, what was that moment having your son on the court and going out there and being honored? It was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, definitely um, a lot of hard work paid off right there mm. in that moment. That was really special. Did Mark tell you that you're going to get the mic afterward? Yeah, he did. He did. Two more questions. Mark, uh, it, it looks like you'll play the winner of UCF and uh, mm -hmm. Oklahoma State, two teams that you've beat twice. How difficult and how challenging is that to turn around and play a team that you've already beat twice? Um, it's, you know, that's the great thing about the Big 12 is that everyone is great. This is just the truth. It's kind of like, we, we kind of lost ourselves for a couple of minutes the last couple of days trying to think about seeding and who do we play. And, and it's just like every scenario you chalk up, you're like, well, they're great, and they're great, and they're great, and they're great. And so um, it, it's actually kind of therapeutic because you kind of like, you don't need to worry about it. We just know that on Wednesday we're going to play a great team. And if we can win, then we're going to play a great team on Thursday. And, and um, that's kind of the beauty of this league. So um, I, I, it doesn't matter if we've – beat teams or lost the teams or whatever, they're all great teams. And, and if you've seen in this league, you just today, I mean, look at who beat who. I mean, you might as well just go roll the dice and, and try and figure out who's going to go win a game in this league. It's, it's actually beautiful. It's really last, fun. Last question. Jackson and Spencer, if you guys could um, describe your team this season in one word, I'm going to really just make you guys work through. What do you think? How would you describe your team after this 22-9 and nine regular season? I'd probably say relentless, mm -hmm. uh, just because I know there's been a lot of ups and downs, but um, something that Coach and Spencer always like reiterate with our team is 
how we always just come back the next day regardless of what happened the day before. And, I mean, obviously it's paid off huge this season. Uh, I'll say together. I've never been around a team that's uh, been this together, this united. Uh, this involves in each other's lives and business and uh, all the jokes and just good moments and memories that we have together. Uh, let me take a shot at these two guys, too, because they're super special to me. So um, uh, a couple moments that stood out to me tonight. One, the, just basketball-wise, the force that Jackson Robinson was attacking the rim tonight was – it just is incredible how he's growing. Like, he's making – he's a great player. And he's making massive strides every single day. Like, it's incredible to watch him grow. And then Spencer Johnson. Uh, so we get out – you know, we come out of halftime, and it's like ah, the game's still, you know, up for grabs. And it's kind of wherever. And we, we're four for 19, and we haven't shot it well. And so we run a wide two, and then Spence just fills with a second stagger and kind of bangs that first three. And I walk down the sideline just being – I yelled at the guys. I'm like, that's a senior. That's a senior. That's a senior. That's what seniors do, man. Seniors are special. And, and I'll say this about these two guys. When you trace their roads, okay, They've been super crooked paths. They've been really crooked paths. They've been fits and starts and moving forward and moving backward, okay? And they just kept fighting to get here where nobody thought they could be. And when you think about our young people today, if these two guys are examples of what our young people are today, we're in great hands, man, because it's incredible the adversity they fought through to get where they are it, it, and the way they're growing. It just is um, – these guys have been incredible uh, teammates, incredible guys to coach, unbelievable ambassadors for BYU, and we're super grateful, boys. Okay? Thank you guys all for being here all year. Appreciate you. Thank you.